Guten Tag, you grumbly gruber, and welcome back. So, it is finally time. The new yearly major reward has been announced. Of course, to get this dragon, you'll have to have every single dragon as part of the 6th anniversary collection. So it's a dragon that a lot of us have been waiting to find out what it is for a long time. But without further ado, it is, along with the new update, the Holy Paladin Dragon. So this is what looks to be a divine dragon and uh, you know holy also makes us think that but this is going to be the final yearly collection dragon. So just like Zodiac was in the previous year this is the Holy Paladin Dragon. So uh, I don't believe all of his elements have been revealed to us quite yet. People have been speculating light of course, energy, uh, metal, earth, because you can see some of that in him, but uh, you know, metal and void would be interesting, but that's unlikely for this dragon. But this is the dragon that we have been waiting for. So, like I said, we have the new Holy Paladin dragon along with a brand new update, which is bringing slight changes to Cake Craze, a new thing called Sigil Contest, which just sounds super pay to win, and uh. Apparently a new UI again. I don't know how many times we are going to change the um, interface of DML when it, uh, IMO, it's fine as it is, but apparently we will be getting another one. And of course all of the information for this has been posted and we will be going through this, but mainly the thing that I don't really look forward to the most out of everything here is this sigil contest thing. Because it sounds to me like a really, really easy way for them to monetize sigils even more than they already have. But, um, you know, I guess we'll find out when it actually gets released. But anyway, this is what Adam had to say. So, hello. Next week we're set to release the first of 2021's updates and with it we'll be adding in new dragons for upcoming events as well as a bunch of new features and fixes. Sigil Contest. For those players excited to take on the Sigil campaign each month, we're adding a brand new extra into the event. The Sigil Contest is a leaderboard event that will run through the duration of a Sigil campaign, though it will not be active during the ongoing campaign with the Dreamcatcher Dragon as the reward. So, this Sigil map that we've got going here, you're going to be finishing all of this and then it'll only become active after this one, as far as I can tell. So. Now, when winning battles, you'll score points that will contribute to your final score, with more points being earned for better performance during a battle. You'll also earn a multiplier based on the difficulty of the battle, with the harder battles at the end of the Sigil campaign rewarding you with the highest multiplier. You know, considering we just one-shot every fight, this doesn't seem like it's really going to affect us that much, but, you know, later on it probably will. Though you will earn a cumulative total, the leaderboard will remain locked until you have won the first battle of the Sigil campaign, at which point you'll be able to see all other players in your leaderboard, your position within the table, and which rewards you're entitled to win based on this. So anyone on Kindle, well, you're, you're going to be in luck, because you don't have many people playing on your server anyway, so power to you. Anyway, you'll earn bonus points based on how quickly after the start of the event you complete the Sigil campaign, so the faster you finish, the more bonus points you'll add to your final score. This is the pay to win part. But anyway, I'll continue with the rest of this. So you'll now be able to repeat any battle within the Sigil campaign, which will add to your total score at the end of the Sigil contest. So if you finish early, you'll have time to earn some extra points for the leaderboard. Note, however, that repeating a battle you've already won with three stars will not earn you bonus Sigil trinkets. But you see... <sighs> I don't like the sound of this. You'll earn bonus points based on how quickly after the start of the event you complete the Sigil campaign. So, you know basically how we wait a day for that 4 bit of energy and if you want to refill it costs 80, a whopping 80 gems. Basically, the more gems a person spends to just finish the whole map day one, the more points they get. It's like the most pay to win thing I've ever I've ever read in this game, like just blatantly, apart from outright buying gems. Anyway, that's that. So Sigil Reward Doubler, we've now updated the reward screen when completing a Sigil campaign battle to properly clarify the two times bonus rewards unlocked with an active reward doubler. Good, because it was kind of 
weird trying to work it out. But that is all the stuff array or regarding all the sigil stuff, which I'm not too pleased about. Renewed interface. Some of you all know that we have been working on updating DML's menus, buttons, and interface, and now is the time to release it. For our veteran players, this might be a scary change, but we hope that the new layout and redesigned buttons will improve the experience. Scary. I don't know if I'd describe a UI change as scary. I'd say different. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> Make it sound like there's going to be a random jump scare. Like, Ooh! I don't know, maybe there will be. The most notable change will be on the main island screen, with some buttons now having their positions moved or made smaller or larger. However, we'll now be able to have a new combat button in the bottom left corner, which will lead to all new battle menu from where you'll be able to access the campaign, sigil map, arena, bottomless dungeon, and enchanted league. There. So while updating DML might result in a little more confusion, we hope you'll enjoy using our updated interface. Whatever. We've changed it so many times now. Cake craze! Based on the feedback from the community, we've added in a trash option to take any cake craze, quest, cake craze quest that has been completed. This means that if you do accidentally complete a quest and you don't want that you don't want while playing DML normally, you'll still have the option to remove it and only wait for the shorter refresh time. Why don't we just remove it entirely so that that doesn't happen? No, no, we're still gonna have this stupid mechanic in. Okay. Whatever, Cake Craze is garbage anyway. Improved inventory. We've added in a new filter into the egg inventory screen. Selecting this will reveal only those dragons that you have newly acquired, making it easier to find and hatch the latest dragons you've collected. This is a very good feel-good change. I'm so used to doing it by just knowing the position in my inventory, but thank goodness, after six years, we have a new filter. Wow. Six years is all it took. Amazing. But to be fair, at least it's being added at some point, rather than never. Why is this all off to the side, by the way? It's freaking me out a little bit. Anyway, habitat swapping. We've added in an option to quickly select the next or last dragon in a habitat. Simply tap the left or the right arrow beside a dragon while in the dragon habitat screen, and you'll automatically move to another dragon inside the same habitat, meaning you won't have to return to the main island screen to pet numerous dragons. That's literally all that that's for. Like, if we go in-game, the only reason for that change is so that we can go tap, 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 pet, and rather than having to click the X, you can just click the arrow instead, which, again, is a feel-good change. A change that probably needed to happen, like, six years ago. Especially now, considering that we have, um, you know, level 8 plus habitats, where you've got, like, five dragons in one habitat, and every time you've got to click out and cancel click out and escape. At least it's here now, right? At least it's here now. Sixth anniversary collection. We'll also be adding in the Holy Paladin Dragon into the game, which is the divine dragon that is available as the reward for completing the sixth anniversary collection. So if you've managed to breed every dragon in the month for the last 12 months, including next month's bounty hunter, you'll unlock this dragon. Thanks, as ever, we'll be on hand to take any feedback on our latest update, so be sure to let us know what you think in this thread. And there is the picture of the Holy Paladin. Lovely. Well, I'm glad that they've clarified it is the 6th anniversary of reward. Um, so overall, my views on this thus far are that uh, I still don't like Cake Craze and how RNG it is. It's just re-rolling. It's so boring. It's unbelievably boring, in fact. Um, but we've got that happening, and in terms of the sigil competition, which is basically just who's going to spend the most money, I think that is everything wrong with current age DML. It is monetizing things that don't need to be monetized. We easily could have done this in a different way, but, um, you know, people in this game love to pretend like there's some level of competition, but even with, you know, arena battles, you know, you need a okay-ish team really but all that it takes to get up to the high scores is either lots of arena gems or lots of gems and we all know how we get gems hopefully you get them on sale from your trusty daily clam offer if you don't get them from this or the dragon master pass you're probably wasting your money just fyi so um like i said those are my general thoughts on this update overall basically 50 50 the sigil stuff sounds terrible. The cake craze stuff is uh, basically putting bandages on the wrong parts of the broken parts of the event. 
Because again, I just don't think that that mechanic should exist. Like, why do we have to waste any time refreshing? Because, you know, it's happened to people before where you go into Cape Craze and, uh, or you'll accidentally complete a quest and it'll say you've completed one and then you've ended up giving yourself an extra apple. Um, I say someone because that's exactly what happened to me earlier. So it's nice to be able to refresh it rather than waste six hours, but we could just have that not happen, you know? We could just have that not happen, like it doesn't happen during the clan event. But hey, what do I know? I don't know anything anymore. I mean, my clan literally got kicked. It was already kicked out of League 4 into League 3, just because we didn't participate for one week. Fair enough. And then because the event broke last week, it's kicked us down to League 2 now, which I find incredibly funny. Um, so thank you for your working um, product, GL. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave before I keep complaining. Overall, I am upset that uh, they already are trying to monetize the Sigil map more than it already is. But, you know, I like the yearly reward, I guess. And, uh, you know, the UI changes aren't terrible. They're okay. Not enough to make up for more monetization being thrown in the game. But, you know, I think that's just an inevitability at this point. That or I quit. One or the other, whichever comes first. But you know, if you do want to check all this stuff out, make sure you check out the um, the forum thread yourself. Again, you'll find it February update. We'll see how it plays out. I would happily be proven wrong, but um, I don't know if I will be. It just sounds like a really easy way for people to jam their way through something again. Anyway, I appreciate you being here. I'm cold, so I'm going to go warm up. Um, but best of luck.